Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Batman issue number 67. This was, this is a pretty good issue. The last page suddenly make, the last couple of pages make it feel really heavy. You gotta remember what this title is called. This is part of the arc, Nightmares. So this isn't real, but it's real enough. So, we got uh, Nightmares Part 5, all the way down. Tom King is the writer, Lee Weeks, and Jorge uh, Fornes is on art, are on art. Lovern Kinderski, Kinderski, Love, Lovern, kin, kin, okay, I tried, on colors, Clayton Cowles on letters, and um, uh, Lee Weeks and Elizabeth Breitweiser on the cover, and the variant cover is Dave Johnson, and of course, Bill Finger created Batman, with a little bit of nudging from Bob Kane. Uh, so, all of this comic book is this guy who kills somebody and Batman walks on the scene and he looks and this guy's like, uh-oh, and he tries to bounce out real quick. He, he's like, boop, jet, and he just goes. And this is on top of um, a high rise. And he finds they find ways to keep on getting lower and lower and lower and come back up again a little bit, but then keep going lower and lower again. That's important to remember because that is the analogy for everything that's going on in Batman's life right now. Right now, and, and again, I don't I don't have conversations with Tom King. I, I have not had a single conversation. He's never liked one of my tweets. I don't, like, tag him in any of my tweets, so there's that. But um, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think he even knows I exist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That being said, I think that I can discern what he's um, trying to convey right now. That Batman feels his life sinking, even though there are a couple of ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, is interesting. This also reminds me a lot of, um, what is it? Uh, the Greys wrote this book. Uh, even though they're divorced now, that doesn't change the fact that it was actually a really good book. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. That's the one. I read it years ago, I think in 2010, 2011. Really good book. Really good book to understand men, understand women, understand relationships. Uh, again, they, them getting divorced doesn't actually mean anything. Read the book to understand why. Um... Uh, but we're talking about this book. Anyway, uh, this book talks about, uh, this, is, this is where I got the idea that sometimes when you're feeling depressed um, and people try to lift you up, they try to lift your spirits, sometimes it only sinks you a little bit deeper. And realistically, the idea of hitting rock bottom, you have to hit rock bottom because that's the only way to really bounce back. So I love this book more. Since I read Men are from Mars, Women are from Venus. I actually think I love this book more than your average person who maybe hasn't read that book, who understands that the only way that you can bounce back from depression is, in fact, to first hit rock bottom. You have to allow that. And it's funny because I feel like women understand that better than men. Uh, men will often try to, you know, let me let me feel better. And that's why, you know, sometimes when, you know, guys will say to women, hey, uh, you know, let me see a smile or something like that. It's like, I don't want to. I'm, I'm not there. That's not where I am right now. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly valid. Um, you have to hit rock bottom. Um, this comic book, in some small ways, uh, makes Porky Pig, the Porky Pig version of, well, the, the, the DC Universe version of Porky Pig from the Looney Tunes world, that Looney Tunes uh, DC crossover, more valid because it actually exists in this world, but only in Batman's dreams and his nightmares. And that sucks because I really want him to be a real person, but he makes an appearance in here. So second official appearance. Uh, my God, this is just awesome. Tom King is freaking awesome for throwing that in there. Just, I, dude, I will fight somebody. I don't need to, because I'm pretty sure that with all that CIA training, King can, can, can fend for himself. But I'm telling you right now, um, yeah, somebody tried to give, give him some lip for that. I might shut you down myself <laughs> because wow, that was freaking just expert the way he threw it in there. Go and check that out. And it's also the only talking that exists in this comic book. Yeah. Porky Pig is the only person who talks in this comic book. Narrator's boxes. You'll find them, but only on the last page. This is one of those kinds of books that, um, Jim Steranko would be told by Stan Lee, not, not, I don't think it was Stan Lee, actually. I think it was um, one of his uh, junior editors when said um, for the one page of uh, Nick Fury, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., hey, uh, there's a beautiful page with all the art on here and whatnot, but there's no words spoken, so I'm not going to pay you for this page. And he's like, yeah, but I wrote the script for the whole thing. He's like, yeah, but since there's no words, I can't pay you for the page. 
It's like, yeah, you're going to pay me or I'm going to knock you the hell out. <laughs> and, uh, and he got paid for it. And um, Tom King sure as hell better have gotten paid for this. And I'm pretty sure he did, from my understanding, or at least from um, Dadio's explanations, DC pays better and they, they, they are better with their their people. So <laughs> there's that. Anyway, I really did like this book. And I get there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to appreciate it all because it is so different. Tom King ain't coming at you like anybody else. Tom King's going to come at you completely differently. All right. Tom King's going to pull a burn notice on you. That pun was intended. And uh, he's going to jack you up from the flank. <laughs> you, you ain't, you know, he's, he's going to come down, swoop down like Batman. Just, you know, you walk in a room, look everywhere, think that you're safe. And all of a sudden, boop, you, get, you just get snatched, man. Um, that's what Tom King's going to do to you with this book, with all of his writing. Uh, I, it, it's a funny thing. I don't think that I can fairly judge Tom King's work. Uh, I don't think I can give grades to Tom King's work, even if that was the thing that I that I enjoyed doing anymore. I don't think I could do that because Tom King's work isn't like anybody else's work. Some people say, oh, it's worse. Um, with all due respect, I don't think you know what you're talking about, brother. But uh, that being said, no, he, he's just so radically different. He has no interest in following anybody else's format. I'm pretty sure if it were up to him, he would take the numbers off of the comic books, too, because that's just who he is. Uh, he dares to walk outside, or he dares to draw outside the lines, you know? Anyway, guys, love the book. This is a good book. All right, Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.